All right, I'm gonna show you real quickly some of the components for this custom horn that I'm putting into my 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. So here's some of the pieces. This is gonna be the power source here. I'm gonna use one of these little jumpers that allows you to plug into the fuse uh, panel on, the, on the, uh, uh, the fuse panel that is under the dash near your left knee. And so I'll plug that in, put a couple of fuses in that, and then this will drive off in one of those appropriate circuits on that. So there's several components here just to go through uh, the, the basic components in order. The first thing is to power this unit, you have to get down from 12 volts down to five in order to power the little sound card that I'll show you in a second. This amplifier can run off 12 volts, so it doesn't need to be dropped down. So that's a, it's very low drain. I checked the amperage on it and it's, it's way uh, below one amp. Um, you have an outdoor speaker, which you'd mount down in the same area that you would mount uh, some of the aftermarket horns on a cross track. And this is the little sound card that does all this magic. This card uh, allows you to load up wave files of different sounds, and I'll demonstrate those to you in a second. This is one of those coin holders that you can replace your fuse box cover. And then I put some buttons in here that control these different wave files. So here's some of the sounds. So that just gives you some demonstration. If you're a big Star Wars fan, you can load it up with wave files. And that's done by just hooking this up to your PC at home with a, with a little USB cable and then you can load up whatever sounds you want on there. You can do up to nine. I've just done four on mine because I didn't want a whole bunch more buttons, but it's kind of cool and pretty fun, so there you go.